Broadcasting is one of the most essential features of MiniChat, and it's the easiest way to stay in touch with your subscribers, basically allowing you to reach out to your subscribers in mass at specific times. We're using this feature to help out an e-commerce site called Fletcher Goods. Okay, once we're on the main broadcast page, you'll see three sections, drafts, scheduled, and history. They're a bit self-explanatory. You'll see stats, date and time sent, that kind of thing. When choosing to create a broadcast, you get the option of either creating a new flow to broadcast with the broadcast feature, or you can broadcast from a previously made flow with the broadcast from previous flow button. For the sake of time, we're gonna choose the second option. In this setup, we wanna send recent subscribers a coupon for interacting with the bot, uh, you know, reward them. Let's make sure this flow is set up correctly. Okay, we'll click the go next button. All right, and here we are at settings for the broadcast. This step is extremely important. Once here, you're gonna see three different types of broadcasts, uh, subscription, promotional, and follow-up. Let's go over each of these types. Subscription broadcasts are allowed to be sent to your entire audience. The only caveat being that the first message can't be promotional in any way. Um, so that means no links to your website, no promotional language. Facebook is pretty strict about this, so just be careful. Uh, the other two options are, are promo broadcasts and follow-ups. In promotional broadcasts, you're allowed any promo or sales material in the first message. This broadcast will only go out to users who have interacted with your page in the last 24 hours. Follow-up broadcasts are broadcasts that can be sent after the end of that 24-hour window to your subscribers. Um, after that, you won't be able to send them ads or promotional messages until they've interacted with you again. You know, they've clicked a button, they've replied, that kind of thing. Although there was promo material in the broadcast flow we created earlier, we're going to go with a follow-up broadcast to take one last shot at hooking in some Aaron subscribers. We'll then go down and we can target and segment under targeting. Similar to how it works in audience, you can filter and we'll schedule out the broadcast below. Uh, the default setting is for the broadcast to be sent out right away. So if you do want to schedule it out for another time, this is where you do it. In subscription broadcasting, there's a second to last step called time zone settings, which we select if we want to send the broadcast out at the same time or limit the hours in which it's sent. One option there is time travel, if we want all our users to receive the broadcast at the same time of day, so everyone gets it at 10 a.m. local time. The last setting is notification settings, where we can choose what type of notification you want subscribers to receive when the message gets sent. We'll be choosing the regular push notifications. Once all of this is set up, the broadcast is ready to be sent. So let's select the send now button and watch the stats and messages come in for Fletcher Goods. If you have any questions, uh, head down to the comments or visit our support page at support.manychat.com. Thank you.